I'm just not happy. I hate my relationship. I wish I had more money. Stop! Stop complaining about your life and do something about it. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests, good evening. Now that might seem like a bit of a harsh introduction, but this is a conversation not aimed at you, this is a conversation I had with myself just two and a half years ago. I was not happy with the results in my life. The thing is, I realized the results that I had in my life The same as the results for all of you have come from the actions that you have taken. The actions that all of us have taken have come from our knowledge, from our beliefs. And our knowledge and beliefs have come from what we fed into our mind. What we learned as we were growing up, how we were raised. Now. I realized that if I wanted different results, I would have to take different actions. And in order to take different actions, I would have to think differently. I would have to believe things differently. And in order to do that, I would need a different input. This reminds me of a story with a profound moral message. There was an Eskimo who had two fighting dogs, a black one and a white one. And every week, he go down to the village and he used to get his dogs to fight. And people used to come all over and bet money on which dogs would win. He would also bet. And he would win every single time. Now, a couple of years later, his dogs were getting old and he had to retire them. The guy from the village, curious this whole time, went up to him and said, tell me your secret. How did you know and bet every single time on which one of the dogs would win? That's the most of it's easy. I always bet on the dog that I've been feeding that week. <laughs> now, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that by feeding the dog, that if you are feeding your mind the right materials, then you are empowered to take the right actions. And then by empowering yourself to take the right actions, you can get the right results. So how do you go into this process of changing your life? Well, the first step is simply becoming clear on where it is you are right now. Whether you don't like your job, whether you want a better relationship, whatever it is, be clear on where you are right now. I am not happy doing what I'm doing. The second step is being clear on where it is you want to be. I want to be a world class speaker. I want to be financially free. I want to have a relationship. Third, stop giving yourselves excuses as to why you can't achieve your goals. The only thing that stands between you and what you want to achieve are the stories that you give yourself. Whether it's, I'm too young to be a great speaker. Whether it's, I'm too old to fall in love. Or whether it's I'm too poor to be financially free. Your past does not determine your future. The fourth step. Find someone who has achieved what it is that you want to achieve. If you want to be the best, learn from the best. Then take action. So many people in life just 
learn without actually applying. Massive action equals massive results. Your results is equal to the action that you take multiplied by the learning that you do. Because the learning increases the quality of the action. As a more profound note closer to home to all of us, Toastmaster Muhammad Isa, who just won an award over the weekend. Step one, he started out. He came and joined Toastmasters. Most possibly, most probably, he was not a great speaker when he joined. Step two, he wanted to become a great speaker. Step three, he didn't allow any excuses that other people give themselves. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to try. No, he did not do that. Step four, which I learned over the last couple of days. Do you think it's a coincidence that he is quoting Les Brown? That he is quoting Darren Lequap? Some of the best speakers in the world. You see, if you want to be a champion, learn from champions. And step five, he took action. And he, he participated. He joined Toastmasters. And he spoke at the competition. What steps are you taking to achieve your goals? Or will they just remain wishes? Over to you. Hello, this is Munir. I hope you enjoyed that last video. Just a quick couple of notes on the video. You are welcome to bookmark it, dig it, tweet it, Facebook it, forward it, embed it, love it, hate it, do whatever you want with it. If it ever, please, it would mean a lot to me if you would just rate the video. Also, if you want to know whenever I create any new videos and you're on a video network, just hit the subscribe button. And if you're on my blog, just enter your name and email address in the opt-in form. All in all, I would love to hear what you think, so please comment on the video. Tell me if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you have any suggestions or whatever you did like about it. Finally, you can follow me on Twitter. You can find me at twitter.com forward slash munir1. That's M-U-N-E-E-R and the number one. Or you can visit our website at www.selfgrowthbusiness.com. And I look forward to catching you on the next video.